Good evening and welcome. I am Pastor Elisa Brandt from St. Stephen's here and glad that you could be with us on this evening. As we gather our hearts in this space, I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Inhale what is good. Exhale what is hurting. And as we settle into this service of prayer and reflection together, we begin with a poem written by Reverend Sarah R. Spee. Listen now to this honest reflection and allow this honesty to mark the space as one set apart. We are raw nerves, exposed and tender. We are weary bones, hunched and fragile. We are silent prayers, lips saying your name. We are wedding rings we can't take off, even though t time has passed. We are the same pew, but it feels different now. We are a brave face when we have to be strong. We are tears in the shower when grief roars its head. We are setting the table, but there are empty seats. We are stuck in the swell, caught in the storm. We are moving on, caught in our guilt. We are okay some days, but some days we're not. We are familiar with the night. We know it by name. We are night walkers, dream makers, star chasers. We are close to home, but home has changed. We are close to the surface, but the waters are rising. We are all of this, plus everything else. We are here. We are here. Grief is here. God is here. The night is here. And all of this is true. And we are not alone. Take my hand. Take these words. Let them be your life raft. Let this be the longest night, and let it be whatever you need it to be. We, we are, are here. here. Grief, Grief is here. here. God, God is here. here. Take what you need. Amen.
I invite us to pray together. God, we do not have night vision. <clears throat> the sun has set on the world as we know it, and we do not have night vision. So today we come to your word, hoping that this ancient truth found in scripture will feel like a hand in the dark. Guide our feet. Move us through this wilderness season. Tilt our heads upward to see the stars. And let your word be a blanket in the cold, a light on the horizon, and a friend to walk alongside. We do not have night vision, but we know we have you. Move through us, move among us, and move through us. Gratefully we pray, amen. Our first reading is from Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her turn. A voice cries out, in the, in wilderness, the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently other sheep. The Lord is the everlasting God creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall, they shall run, run and not be weary. They, they shall, shall walk, walk and not faint. God comes to us in the word. God, God comes to us where we are. Please read responsibly with me Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will not be slumber. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you going out and your coming in from this time on.
Our second reading is from the book of Lamentations. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. God comes to us in the word. God comes to us where we are. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. The Gospel of the Lord. At this time, I would invite you to join me in a guided, written prayer time. If you have the piece of paper that you were given at the beginning and the pencil, you can find hymnals underneath your pew if you would like something to write on. I will give you some prompts and then some time to think, reflect, and write. You will also find the prompts on the screen. So as we begin, I would invite you to write five words 
that describe how you're feeling in this moment. Write down one area of your own life where you could use God's help, comfort, or guidance. Write any lingering prayers you have at this moment. I would invite you to hold those prayers, 
keep them close. We will be using them later in the service. At this time, we will continue with the prayers of the people. Please stand as you feel comfortable. every word we say. They lay over us like a quilt, weighing on our spirits. We are a million combinations of weary and sad, lonely and grieving, angry and hurt. It is obvious that we need you, so together we sing. messy middles, in the unclear paths forward, the transition seasons and the splinterings of what once was. God, we need you in the grieving places, in the dining rooms with empty chairs, in the empty wombs, and in the dark of the tomb. God, we need you in our failed dreams shame that rises quickly, in the unknown next steps, in the discernment that is always easier said than done. Please be seated. As we prayed individually and prayed as community, now we would invite you to take the prayers that you have, uh, those that are on your hearts, your minds. You can bring any other person, incident, experience that you will, and we want you to lift them up to God in this time. So I believe we would invite, how about this side first? And as you are ready, row by row, let's leave a little distance and we can take our time. But come and take a candle, if you will, in the basket that you see right here. And you may light it with the Christ candle that is in the manger. And you may drop your prayers Nobody's going to be looking at them. We will give them over to God. You can drop those prayers, if you would like, into the manger. 
as we lift them all and give them over to God in this time. And then we would invite you to head back around this way in order to go back to your seats. So we'll start here, come through the center aisle, and then we'll start over there. We'll give you a little guidance along the way.
As you return to your seat, uh, I invite you to take a few moments to look around at each other and really see each other and acknowledge that we can never fully know what it is that each of us carry. So scan the room, look at one another with care and empathy. And for a moment, try to hold it all in your heart. And now continue to see the faces in this room as we speak together this litany and simply repeat after me. We are here. We are here. I see you and your pain. I see you and your pain. I see you and your hope. I see you and your hope. You are my neighbor. You are my neighbor. We belong to one another. We are not in this alone. We are not in this alone. Thanks be to God for the love that binds us. Thanks be to God for the love that binds us. Amen. Now using the words your son taught us to pray, we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive this benediction. As you leave this service, your service begins. Comfort the sick. Open your doors to others. Seek sanctuary. Be brave enough to go home by another way. And remember, that here in God's house all are welcomed in joy and in sorrow, 
God meets us where we are. In the name of our foundation, God, Spirit, Son, go in peace. Dawn is coming. Dawn is coming. Yeah. 